can't be that that there's a problem with the answering of the prayer. It's really that if the prayer is limited, if the prayer is improve my human condition, yeah. if the prayer is, <laughs> is <laughs> make, make me a better self, get me a better relationship, get me a better, better job. job. Get me, Love to be better looking. Right, a better body, a better, better, body. A, better a, a younger body, a this, a that, a car, or whatever. If the prayers are limited in terms of time and space, then the mind receives ex exactly what it asks for. But what we're saying is it, it's asking for far too little. It's asking for nothing. It's really asking for <laughs> nothing at all. That's putting it very frankly and bluntly. You can't, it's, you can't be given nothing. Right. You can't be given nothing. Mm. So the prayer of the heart should be just to open up and to receive what is always there, what yeah. is here now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, really, prayer is just being. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Nothing to ask for. No. That's why... There's be, another hook of right. the ego. Be still. Well. <laughs> be still and know means that... Be vigilant. Yeah. Right, there it is, hook, hook, hook. Hook, hook, hook. Difficult, you know, as soon as you get into the, the process thing, you know, then it can seem to be difficult. And one of my f just joyful things in the Course is just, it says the ego likes the idea of a journey home back to God, for it can make the journey seem difficult. Mm -hmm. So this is what is, is very sneaky about the ego. It's like a process, a journey back to God. Mm. But why is there a journey back to what you truly are? If you yeah. already are it now, yeah. then the Isn't journey it? is the illusion. Yeah. So everyone is concerned about what have I got to give up to wake what up to I God? What do I have to give up? What do I have to give up? We say a resounding... Sacrifice. Nothing. <laughs> right. <laughs> give up sacrifice. Give up nothing. Penance. Yeah. Give yeah. up... Give up nothing to receive everything. I mean, mm -hmm. that doesn't sound like such a difficult thing, to give up nothing to receive everything. That seems like a, a pretty, pretty good, good deal. Uh, yeah, <laughs> if there were deals. No, no stockyards, <laughs> right. no whippings. Right, you don't need a sale for this one. It's, no cutting off my hand right. or my fingers. Right. <gasps> yeah. Wow. Well, we're there. It's happening. And that's what this is about experiencing it and sharing it, that mm -hmm. knowledge with a big K, yes. that knowledge. Yes. When you say the Course to my friends, I'm sure know this is a Course in Miracles because I yes. noticed that we just, yes. that's the book. It could be a universal Course. Somebody was asking me lately, you know, are you a Christian? <laughs> you know, are you a Course in Miracles student? What's that? <laughs> are you a Course in Miracles teacher? That's still separate, isn't it? Really, yeah. when you think about it, yes, it's it's you're identifying with something special. Right. Are you human? Oh. <laughs> you, know, you see where this goes. I mean, I know. You, this is so vast. This is so expansive in everything that it's. It reminds me of that um, lesson. Simply do this. Be still. Yeah. Lay aside all thoughts of what you are and what God is. All concepts you've learned about yourself. Yeah. You know, empty your mind of the good, the bad, the right, the wrong. The concepts of the dreams, the wishes, the dreams, the wishes, the improvements. You know, the every concept of, if only. of time and space. Uh, yeah, the tomorrows. Yeah, you know, the idea too is that um, everyone says, "Let go of the past, let go of the past, let go of the past," and then place the future in the hands of God. But they're the same thing. I, I used to call it in, in, in a joking way: the past, past, and the future past. If it's a story, it's one thing. Yeah. If it's a story, it's one illusion and one image. And why could the mind divide it into past and future? What makes the past different from the future? Except these are this is more duality. This is again placing time in in the category of of twoness of duality and thinking that the two parts are actually different. Yeah. But the future is the past, and that's mm -hmm. why this world was over long ago because the world is just the past repeated over and over and over in a loop like on Groundhog Day yes. until the mind reaches a point of change and realizes that it wants a new purpose. It changes its mind about itself and it finds itself outside of the loop. So the, the future, you know, a lot of times there's talk about things will get better in the future and sometimes people will say, David, do you think the world is getting any better or is the world getting any worse? But if something is singular, a singular illusion, if something is an impossible situation, 
how can you have a better or worse impossible situation yeah. or a better or worse illusion? Yeah. That just would imply that there are better illusions and worse illusions, and that would mean that the mind doesn't think that there are illusions. Yeah, that's interesting. You're thinking about the cyclical part of the ego. Yes. It just keeps rotating round and round, going nowhere. Right. Going nowhere, going just spinning nowhere. into oblivion. And if the mind believes in the reality of that loop, then it can seem like hell because oh, yes. there's frustrations, there's fatigue, there's guilt, there's shame, and it's yeah. buying right into it. But yeah. when you say, game is over, it's all over now, the game's up, ego, then you accept yourself as God created you, that is where the, the joy comes in, yeah. and you literally have no problems. Yeah. And the experience of that joy, just it's, we, even those words, what you just said, can't explain it. Right. You know, it's like saying, mm. it's just experience right. it and that's it. Yes. That will cover it. That'll yes. cover the waterfront. Yes. Completely internal. It's yeah. it's a it's a experience of just silence. Yeah. There's no explanation. There's just a sense of beingness, of isness. That's what it is. And the words, after a while, you know, it's like we were talking about being in a song, being in a note. You know, mm. one note yeah. that just resonates and resonates and just goes on and on and on and on and on. That yeah, with overtones. Overtones, <laughs> and, and <laughs> that's maybe the closest yeah. approximation. That's not bad. But this doesn't involve <laughs> dissertations and theses and theories and theology. Yeah. This is everything, and it's very simple because it doesn't involve any of that. Yeah.